Hello my fellow eggheads, this is Liz, I'm an HP Certified Technician. Today we're going to go over some solutions for if you're having trouble after a Windows installation. First thing I would do is hit power and tap F10 to enter the BIOS settings. This is what I would do to repair a computer. So I would go into the settings and go to secure boot configuration because in properly set BIOS settings is the leading cause for this problem. So under configure legacy support I would scroll through each one of these, select one, restart the computer, see if it changes, and then I would select the next one on the list, restart the computer, see if it changes, and I would select the third one on the list if that didn't work, and restart the computer, see if there's a change. Before we move on, shout out if you have an older HP, then basically you would need to change your setting like so. If your boot mode is set in legacy and secure boot is disabled, switch the settings to boot mode UEFI secure boot enabled. Or, if it's on boot mode UEFI and secure boot is enabled, switch the settings to boot mode legacy and secure boot disabled. Each time you do this, try restarting your computer. On the older models, you might take a little bit of fishing around, like I said, and uh, it, it will be listed the same, just in different areas in BIOS. So, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll try to help. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check your hard drive. We're going to go down to system diagnostics and we're going to run a hard dive check because that's the other leading cause for this problem. Uh, if you have an older model, you're going to restart, tap on F9 and select system diagnostics. But as you see in the newer models, you just go to the main menu and select system diagnostics. We're going to select hard drive check and then we're going to do quick check. Now, you might say your hard drive failed, then you know right away that it's bad. Or it might be like this and say no hard drive installed. If it says this, you're going to do need to do is uh, go ahead and uh, reseat your hard drive, which means unplug it, and then plug it back in to check the connection. If it still says it, or if it just tells you that your hard drive failed, then you're gonna need to replace your hard drive. I know, super sad, but we have a video down below on how to replace your hard drive and install an operating system. If you find your hard drive passes the test, uh, and is being read as there in BIOS, you see it listed, uh, then under system, sorry, you see it listed under system in information, then the next thing would to do would be to reinstall your operating system because it could be a software problem. We have that video down below, like I said, uh, that sh in, the, in the description that shows you how to reinstall the operating system. Just skip the portion on how to install a new hard drive. And uh, last but not least, always make sure your USBs and CDs are taken out of the computer occasionally. This is the least likely uh, option, but sometimes your computer gets confused and tries to boot off these instead of your hard drive. But anyway, that as a HP technician is what I would do if my computer said no bootable device or no boot device found. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos or if you like getting free IT advice, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below and one of our certified technicians will answer. Anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.